Now, as you remember from last time, we got stuck on this login screen and we don't want to be stuck on this login screen. We also have other URLs, which I can't remember for the love of God, which ones we found. I hope I have them somewhere in my vault directory. I highly doubt it. God damn it. Yeah, I should have written them down. And uh, this is why documentation is important, even if you're doing the hacking. Now here we tried to circumvent this by changing the host header, but we didn't do anything like that on this part. So, so let's intercept it on, let's switch the proxy to burp. And here we just try admin, admin. Okay. And here we type in admin as well. And then we do the intercept and then we log in. Now, one thing we didn't try, but we tried on an other page, but not on the admin page was that here we can just paste in localhost and then we forward this and remove the intercept and it worked. Nice. Now the question is, are we logged in he here as well? Okay. You know what? We can actually response. Can we match and replace at request header? match, I think host was vault.htb replaced with host localhost. So every time we have like a host vault.htb, we get a host localhost, but it doesn't matter. We are here at the Sparkless local admin interface. Now let's check out here, login, original request, auto modified request. Perfect. Okay. It works as it's supposed to. Now in here, we have a couple of links, which we haven't found the last time. Let's go to the server settings on the construction. Okay. Fantastic. Design settings, change logo. I think we can upload our own custom logo, right? And depending on what kind of file we upload, we could potentially upload a reverse shell. I hope it's that easy. All right, uh, let's go change the logo and then we browse something. I mean, let's try with the zip. Does the zip work? Sorry, the type is not allowed. All right. Okay. So we have what is called a, uh, they filter for the file types. All right. Uh, do we have some pictures? Yeah, we can upload some of my wallpapers. Which one should we go with? Let's go with up and upload the file. File was uploaded successfully. Fantastic. Uh, do we have sign and then we have uploads. Okay. Now I just need to find out how the hell my file is called. And now let's hope that we can access this one. No. Um, okay. We got the solution. Fantastic. But we don't want the, the solutions. Is it under logo? I mean, the question now is obviously where do we find the logo? Is it on login.php? I doubt it. We need to find out where this thing gets uploaded. Otherwise there's no point in uploading it, but I'm pretty sure it's in the uploads directory, right? I mean, where else would you upload something if not in the upload directory? Now let's just browse this again, upload some image, upload it. And the file was uploaded successfully. Now we get a post request in here, which we will be able to read. And the response is pretty simple. We get just the website back. Okay. Let's go to the auto modified request, which tells us we are from localhost instead of vault.htb. And here we just have the file. All right. The only question I still have is where does it get uploaded to? I haven't seen any kind of logo. This was not found. And in here, it's just forbidden. So chances are high that we may find some subdirector in there. I can't remember what we did last time. Maybe if we just go in here and check out if we can even manipulate what kind of files we upload. You know, so first of all, we are gonna need some way to get a reverse shell. So let's get shell PHP. We're just gonna grab this and then we open here reverse shell 
to HP. And then I'm fairly certain that we have to paste in our IP over here, which is certainly not localhost. Instead, it is IP A, and then we go for this one. Hey, I've kept the same IP for a while now. Does Actabox know that? Okay, and then here we just do a our classic for 2069. All right, so we are listening now. Now, the only thing we need to do is upload the reverse shell. Fantastic. Now let's try the ref shell again. Upload it in here. We have image JPEG. We go to the history and then we just grab like, I don't know, this part maybe and paste it in here after a new line and forward it and hope that this time it's work. Not allowed. Ah, okay. We can try a second thing, which is we take this one, we upload it in here. We have the image type. Okay. Uh, we have image slash JPEG and the name is Refshell JPEG. All right. Okay. We were able to upload something at least. Uh, did we I some miracle get a reverse shell? No. We need to still find the file and I have no idea how we would go about this. I mean, I'm pretty sure parts of it has to do with this forbidden part where we have all the uploads. And here it says bypassing host and file upload restriction. So we are on track for bypassing the file upload restrictions. Now, the only thing I'm wondering is where the hell do we even see the logo? I mean, the sparkless design doesn't have an index, right? So I guess it should be somewhere in the login. But how come we have access to the admin interface? So we're logged in here, but we can't go to the login. Maybe let's try this one. Okay. I was thinking maybe only the tab has the session, which makes absolutely zero sense in the first place. But who knows with these challenges, especially with this one, which has kind of nothing to go on. Maybe it's not the logo. So let's try logo. Logo is not found. Is uh, logos found? Uh, do we have ref shell dot jpeg? Doesn't look like it. So I'm pretty sure we have the uploads, right? And I also did some fuzzing on the uploads, which I now obviously haven't documented as well. Maybe the word list isn't the right one for this case. We got nothing here. We need some ideas. We need to bring some, some ideas. What the heck could we do to find our file that we uploaded? I mean, maybe it's just as simple as having a logo.jpg. No, it isn't. You know what we didn't try so far? We get this and then we use a tool like Google, which is here to generate custom word lists. All right. So let's just like go with this command. This looks pretty okay. Let's just run it. So we have cool followed by the adapt of two and M let's go with three. We save it to our custom words list and we crawl one. Now what this does is it reads the website and based on those, it uh, like generates these things. Now the thing is, how do I put them all in lowercase? Okay. That seems to work, but we are going to do it with upper to nowhere. Okay, and then we put this in the custom lower. And then we get custom lower into custom words. So it tries all of them. So essentially what I've done so far is create a custom word list. Here we have all the normal case words from the website. And here we have all the words in lowercase. Now. Next on the list is we are in this exploratory phase, as I like to call it since, uh, since however long already, because this website basically gives zero information. And then let's go with custom words and let's run it. And then we have 
root feature. I really hope I'm not butchering your name, by the way, which says, have you tried accessing design uploads finding JPEG? Yes, I've tried. Uh, so this would be, for example, refshell.jpg, which just sends me, I don't know where. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. And let's go with curl. And um, maybe curl does it better. And then JPEG. Hang on, it really does it better. So PHP, we can't find, but we have this JPEG. Oh, wait. I I think we maybe. Oh, no. Oh, uh, can you remember the last challenge? Did I solve it with you or alone? Where you were like able to upload a dot php dot jpeg with like a space in between. You now what? Let's try that. Now let's send this to the repeater and let's go with ref shell php. Then we go into the hex editor. Here we say, for example, not sure we an x. Yeah. So now we search for the x. Let's just search for the x. Why are you telling me zero matches? Here it is, X. Uh, okay, so let's just replace it with a zero, zero. Apply the changes. And now we can send it again. And I guess now we should have like a rep at QHP. How can I tell them to, uh, can I tell Firefox to not use a search engine that's getting on my nerves? Why is it using a search engine? When I'm typing an URL, search with Google? No, I don't want to search with Google. Well, first of all, let's just check with curl if this works. Mm. Okay, this doesn't seem to work. Or we can have like a space and the space can be, let me say that, where, and then we sent this one. Sorry, that file type is not allowed. Okay, so let's just pick this one and... Let's keep it empty for now. Now let's add a space. Let's grab this one. Let's go to the hex editor. Let's go back. Now for some reason we should have the hex here. Okay, let's let's just do it a bit simpler. Let's just paste in banana. And then we search for banana. And then we hopefully find banana. And then we can, I mean, I want to search in here. Okay, you tell me if you see banana. Why is it so hard? I remember that this was simpler. <laughs> so in here, we have like the B part, right? And this year we replace it with a zero, zero, boom. And then we have a null character. And it says this file is not allowed. Okay, we can't upload it. Now that's the first problem. The second problem is that I can't even access the files that I want via the web interface, but I have to use curl. So maybe, I mean, I'm pretty sure it has to do with the file ending. I, I don't, I, I have zero doubts there. We just need to bypass this filter somehow. I mean, we can try ref shell too, right? Send it. Oh, uh, let's do a JPEG. And this time it was uploaded. So if we go here for ref shell 2.jpg, yes, we have, but this one we don't have. Wait, maybe. We have to do it the other way around. I mean, I doubt it, but maybe. So the file was now uploaded successfully. Wait, does this mean I can access the ref shell root.jpg.php? Okay, we php2. I mean, that's not a stupid idea. Let's try it with a different PHP extension. php2? Nope. What was the other one? PHTML. Mm. I mean, you know what? Yeah, this one we tried already, but I mean, we can always try it multiple times. Where is it? Here. We have jpeg.php. .php2. .php5. Uh oh, does PHP5 even work? We got the shell. Nice. Thank you very much. I like it when the chat is so on board and can help me out. We have actually gotten access to the server. And I think now is a good time for this episode to end. And I hope I'll see you in the next one when we'll get the root access. Bye-bye.